Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. We are the little shows that we scatter in between our two big charity events biannual and well we've actually got one coming up agdq is not far away that is starting at the beginning of next year um if you haven't seen the schedule for that yet you should definitely check it out there are some cool games in there um not to not to brag a little bit but there's a there's a certain sonic blast in there so uh yeah somebody made a bad decision but um with that there are so many better games so many much better games in there that you should definitely check out and um speaking of which the price submissions for that are open from now until december the 30th and you can find out more on our website but before we go into that um welcome to this hot fix this is going places this is the show where we go around the world looking for region exclusive games as well as the games that we take on our travels on handheld consoles. Now we've got quite a breadth when it comes to this particular show. We are gonna be having a game that only came out in the West. We're gonna be having a game that only came out in the East. Then we're also gonna have a PlayStation portable game. So a bit of a wide range just for a, I mean, it's not really, like it doesn't really explain all too much about the game, but this is a, this is what we're gonna be seeing at the end. You can see a fat bomb, fat bomb on it. Um, we're going to be having some bomb defusal later. But before that, we have got some platforming with Crush on PlayStation Portable. That is a really cool speed run. And we're going to have some classic, you know, N64 3D platforming. We're going to throw it over to Broby, who is going to be taking us through Rocket Robot on Wheels. Plural? <laughs> Hello, Broby. Hello. Yeah, I'm Broby, and uh, this is Rocket Robot on Wheels. We also have like Sly Cooper coming up, but this is like the team's first uh, game that they ever made, like Sucker Punch. So it's pretty cool. To, like, there's like references to Sly Cooper, even though it's like this is their first game. It's like it's pretty cool. Like the, it's like definitely noticeable. Yeah. And, that's uh, a, yeah. That's a, just a quick heads up for later after this show. We do, we don't have Sly Cooper on this show, but Think Fast. <laughs> which is like a it's like a game speed run like a game show sort of speed run thing um yeah they're going to be doing let me check which uh, which category but whilst uh, whilst i'm checking you are yeah what what is going on in this game take us through it um it's basically like the same as mario 64 or banjo kazooie just like a collectathon for the n64 um for some reason it's like not well known as banjo in those games it's pretty weird but I feel like this is like the perfect game, in my opinion. It's it's so good, and nice. yeah, you're basically just collecting everything. Um, and there's about like five, six worlds. It's not too long. It's a good uh, good time, and uh, basically, it's like you just uh, you know control your movement. Like it has like like mechanics of just like raw movement. <laughs> I'm not thinking of the right word, but it's got cool movement. That's all I'm you. saying. Yeah, we yeah. get you. Well, you are welcome to, to kick us off any any moment you're ready. All right. So, on go. Three, two, one, go. Good luck. Thank you. So, yeah, in this game, all it is is just like you're trying to save this amusement park that uh, Sly Cooper, just the raccoon there, he stole the mascot and took all the tickets of the amusement park. So uh, we got to retrieve all those things back. We're collecting all these tickets and we're saving the walrus. But this guy right here, he has RNG of talking to him, but I just got the best RNG for it. So it's pretty cool. Let's go. Um, <laughs> let us go. Yeah, <laughs> so he's just opening up this world for us. But later on, we need to collect uh, these tokens that give us more upgrades. And also if you collect enough, uh, you get like the 100 coin star basically in this game. Nice. Um, but right here, I was supposed to pause frame perfectly so I could skip text there. And that's a lot of this game. It just mashing and hopefully you get the pause and you can save time. That's a lot of time saved at the start, especially. So right here, I'm going to do it again, but that's not frame perfect. It just skips some text. And nice. for this whole world, we're going to be skipping. I mean, not skipping. We're not really skipping anything. We're skipping one uh, ticket. And that's just like a mini game. Collect like just 
just a bunch of like mini games for one uh, ticket. Takes forever. Uh, okay. I also just skipped some text there. And we're also just collecting these parts to open up another section of this uh, world. I want to get that, but I missed it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, just take my time. We believe, we believe. Yeah, I can't miss any tokens in this world or I will not get that, like, the equivalent of the 100 star. 100 coin star, yeah. Nice. And I'm skipping them all. Oh my god. And I could skip some text there, but we're chilling. Yeah. So I gather that this is a... You've, is it recent that you started running this game? Yeah, I had this when I was younger, but uh, like never beat it. I always had it like on a cartridge that just like had most of the game finished, and I would just explore those. Okay. But not until at least like recently I, I played it, and it's a fun time just like fully 100% uh, completing the game. It only took me like seven hours. Oh, nice. It was a good time. Because yeah. it's like it seems like there's a lot of nuance, like you're saying, with like the frame perfect pauses to to skip text <laughs> and stuff. Is that something that's been known about for a while? Yeah, this game had like a kind of a big like speed earning scene like back in like 2013, and hasn't really been as big since then. And they like really like pushed it back then. Nothing else really. Oh, and now cool. I'm just trying to push it for sub 50. Nice, nice. And what's your what's your current personal best? Uh, 5028. Oh, I accidentally grabbed the wrong dude. Ooh. I'm supposed to throw those little nail dudes into the into this little slot, and it opens up a roller coaster, uh, like section. And it's it's basically everyone's like childhood that section, so it's pretty fun. Um, I'm so sad <laughs> that you have got rid of that car because that looked quite incredible. So yeah, now we have to go back to unlock our new ability, Slam. And it's just like our basic attack. But now we got it. I gotta remember that nail though. That's pretty bad. <laughs> now we have to go back in. So now that we have the Slam, oh, I'm gonna show it off right here, insane. Let's go. And that'll just like skip like a little text animation if I uh, use a slam on that. But now we're back in the hot dog mobile. I forget what it's actually called, but <laughs> uh, every world has like these ring mini games. Uh, they're honestly pretty fun. Uh, but the the car physics are like really good, but really wonky. So it's best to just like take it really safe and easy, or else you'll just like you know have a car crash and it's not really cool. People people these days be talking about Teslas. I reckon I reckon they had the, the hardest whips in the in nineteen ninety nine. Look at that. Absolute beauty. Like a rocket. <laughs> Where is that nail dude? Okay, he's right there. So now we're having a little race, but I kind of throw this guy into his little spot and we'll all come back to that one spot after this race. Nice. And this race is really easy, but you just don't want to go off the tracks like these little little corn pieces, basically. Uh, I can. Uh, <laughs> we have like enough time to sleep, like even grab all these and do all that, but the stupid thing about this race is that if you don't hit this rock, there's a very high chance that the other car will get stuck on it and it'll just stop the race. What, and you can't complete you can't complete the race or it just stops? You have to restart it. You have to go all the way back to go see it. <laughs> well, and that's just the rock that's just there. Like, it's not <laughs> like I... It, I don't even know how that happens, man. It's pretty bad. Oh, well, hey, good thing that you got rid of it because that would have been quite... Yeah, you know, quite unhelpful. <laughs> there. We'll come back for that, but we're just grabbing this last nail, dude. Getting that token I missed. And it's a slow walk back home. 
Nice. So what's... I'm trying to work out, is this, I assume, a beach sort of carnival themed stage? Is that what they were going for? Um, I mean, every world is has like a clever uh, joke to it. This one's called Clowny Island, as in, you know, Coney mm -hmm. Island. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So nice. yeah, it's like a, a clown beach place. It's pretty neat. <laughs> nice. So yeah, we're at like this roller coaster section where we just get to make our own roller coaster. We made the like the quickest one possible, and that one just gives us our first. Uh, ticket. Nice. But now we have to like follow these numbers. And now we actually get to ride the thing. Oh, wow. let's go. So exciting. This, this is thrilling gameplay. I, I reckon Cyberpunk was inspired by, inspired oh. by this. <laughs> I messed it up. Oh no. <laughs> what? Uh, don't worry about it. It's cool. <laughs> I had to put that one up just higher, but like you can barely see that you just did it. I thought I did it. I made, I thought I made sure, but I'm, I'm whack. Don't worry. Yeah. You're, you're Here we go again. It. You're gonna do it first try. We we believe. Yeah, first, definitely. I do recommend like people try this game if they like Banjo or Mario on N64. Um, it's quite pricey though. It's around like 200 now. Oof. So uh, find whatever way to play this game. It's always good. I think it has a rough start. Like I think the first few worlds are pretty good, but just understanding how this game feels is kind of rough. But once you get used to it, it's it feels better than you know any other game. I feel like it's a masterpiece. But throughout this like uh, world, we've been collecting these pieces that will open up another part of the world, you know? So uh, we have them all right now. And if I go up to, oh God, this part right here, uh, we can open up that dinosaur. Of course. This honestly used to does. scare me. <laughs> as one does, yeah. The dinosaur used to scare me as a little kid. Just like a... Uh, Rugrats uh, in Paris, that PS1 game. That oh, used to scare I, I, break I, I could totally, mind. I could totally see that being scary to a. To be fair, it'd probably be scary to a young hip, not just a young brody. <laughs> You're just a young kid running the streets of Paris, and there's a giant dinosaur going raw, and you just, <laughs> I'm freaked out, bro. It's, it's messed up. So this is just like basically on cycles. This whole area. So if I mess up, it's a, uh, a slow wait. But yeah, th this jump right here is really precise, but if I miss it, it's like only like two seconds. Oh, shoot. I was going to go for a little cheeky jump there, but I wasn't even like close to getting it. So that's good. If I mess it up, I fall all the way back to the bottom. Mm. So I'm I'm kind of happy I didn't have to go for it, you know? Yeah. Oh my. There's uh, some funny knockback in this game. I'm glad I didn't fall all the way down though. Jeez. I'm gonna wait for this just in case it doesn't Donkey Kong me down all the way. <laughs> and now we're at the top. And nice. this part uh, is kind of rough. I remember always messing this up as a kid, never getting those. If you fall, you have to go all the way back up the, oh, wow. the dinosaur, yeah. so. And now we're done that world. I jumped into like both the, the last uh, token and the last ticket at the same time. So it like skips like two animations. Ah, oh, cause it, yeah, I, for a second I thought that you hadn't collected the ball, but it looks like you have. <laughs> There's a lot of that in this game, like just like trying to skip little animations or text. It's not huge, but it all comes together. Mm. No, it's all small stuff. But yeah, now we're at Paint misbehaving. Okay, interesting, and interesting segue from Clowny Island. <laughs> it's always very different. <laughs> so this is all about paint, believe it or not. And we get to, you know, shoot some paint at people. That's good. 
There's this one puzzle where you just have to like connect the lines. And if you do it fast enough, you can get everything before uh, the ticket comes up. So I'm just trying to do that, but I think this is very sloppy. <laughs> well, I mean, the physics on this thing look otherworldly. <laughs> it just kind of does its own thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, since we're in the vehicle, it doesn't give us the animation, so you want to be in that while you get it. And this jump is very bad. I did not even get close to getting it. <laughs> wow, that was that was really bad. Uh, I'm going to try a backup here that is very bad. Okay, there's like a hovering technique you can do, but uh, I'm just going to take it safe and just uh, try it this way. Put it on top. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. And I need this because... Oh god. Let me back in. Uh, you can cancel this, but I didn't get to cancel it. It just didn't grab the collectible. But there's a little metal piece inside that I have to collect to open a door. So I want to collect all three of them, but it's getting stuck on everything. Wow. And that guy can steal it, but we're uh, we're juking him out. Nice, pro. So that's one. Oh, that's cool. That's cool that you don't like have to keep it on you. You can you can place it and then keep moving. Yeah, this game like is really good at keeping uh, your progress. Like every everything you do just gets saved immediately. You don't have to save this game, like that's at all. Nice. Yeah, that's super handy. Oh, I am forgetting buttons. <laughs> How do you shoot? I don't know. But yeah, we're just like painting out. I forgot the buttons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so after we've uh, colored all those carrots and vegetables and whatnot, trees, uh, we can do this little trick that gets us up top this tower that we're not supposed to be up yet. As soon as you jump out of this uh, the vehicle. After you grab that ticket, you can go on top and you don't have to go all the way through this tower. Oh, that's genius. It's genius. <laughs> kind of messed up. So yeah, we've already got that, but we're gonna like still go inside anyways. Oh God. Uh, for some reason, you can get like a little like bonk right there uh, as you enter the area. And I randomly got that, and that can just kill your run uh, if you do that. <laughs> so, oops. So I just took it extra safe, because I can just fall all the way down if I don't take it safe. Nice. But now I am behind on a cycle. It just gets us this five token. Gives us five. <laughs> There's three different ty uh, kinds of tokens. There's no the normal, like, silver one. That's just one. Uh, the yellow is five, and the purple ones are ten. So those are very important. You always need like a, a required amount just for the, the upgrades. And also, uh, going inside like the vehicles requires a certain amount of tokens as well. Okay. But later on, you can bypass uh, one of those like the option to do that yeah, so see. here you're supposed to like play with colors but uh like you're supposed to be the same uh uniform as that dude and he's blind as you know he's, <laughs> he's got glasses so uh we fool him to be fair rocket rocket robot is looking pretty pretty funky right now pretty dripped out you know yeah this this color even like saves over uh after you exit the world so it's pretty cool you can just oh. kind of go whatever color rocket you want. Nice. All right, here comes the sheep skip. <laughs> okay. Is it because we use the sheep or because we are skipping the sheep? We use the sheep to activate a button all the way down there uh, under that uh, the dock. I'm pretty sure I got it. Yeah, okay. There's like some laser doors behind this and the sheep gets rid of them. He's a hero. 
Give me a real one. Yeah! Yeah! All tokens, like, uh, give you one ticket. So, we don't get them in every world, just the first one. But you do need a lot of them throughout the game. I'm pretty sure you need 850 for the last vehicle. So, we're not that far off. But we don't even do that anyways. We There's a way that we can skip it by just going inside of it. With a frame perfect pause. Fun. Oh! I don't even know how I pause, but okay. My hand is nowhere near that. Yeah, and if you get, you can get a damage boost off that dude, so you can um, skip that animation, but I did not get it. But we do want to be taking intentional damage because we have a very uh, cool death ward. Very cool. Okay. But yeah, now we're inside Echo the Dolphin, and we're on a grand quest. And no it's pretty fun. I know. Gee, Echo, hi. So now that we have all the machine parts, we get to activate water. And this will open up a new area that we will not go into. Because oh. it takes too long. <laughs> but it does activate other things as well, so... We'll take it. So now I can get up here. You mentioned Echo. There've been uh, some screenshots released from a, a Dreamcast like prototype that never saw the light of day. From uh, from Echo. Yeah. It's wild. Now that's so cool. There's a there's Sorry. one developer that I've seen that has the the demo. Like he released a demo and also a Smurf game and this other like aquatic underwater like Subnautica game. For the Dreamcast as well. They all look cool, but they have not been released to the public. It's quite sad. We can dream. We can dream. Dream on. So yeah, I just did another ring game. The funnest in the game. Definitely. And uh, that's basically the end of this world. We're just going to click this last one and then go for our silly little death orb. We just got to get this guy to notice us. And we're dead. Unbelievable. And we're out. And Tinker's right here to greet us. So now he'll give us, um... Wow, a double jump. People complain a lot about how you don't get a double jump, like, <laughs> at the start, but... I don't know. It's pretty cool. Nice. And there's a little secret guy behind here. Ooh, very good. Oh, also, I forgot, like, we do collect all the tokens in the hub world. And that's very important. <laughs> you can't miss one. I've done it many times. So now that we have uh, a lot of to er, tickets, we can activate this button. We need 15. We got 23. We're kind of ahead, so it's pretty cool. Interesting, there was a tiny, well, what on my end looked like a tiny bit of lag, but other than that, it looks like this game runs, you know, pretty solidly on 64. What's what's your experience with it? No, it runs really smooth. Um, it's, it's not bad. Just like some camera angles can be bad, that's it, but you can like change that on your own. I was about to say, it's like, it's a 90s 3D platformer. It, <laughs> It's, it's, you know, destined to have somewhat, not, not particularly I mean, optimal camera. <laughs> camera. If, if people aren't used to the N64, then they probably aren't going to like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now we're at the third world. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Get wow. it? They, they, they got the whole squad laughing with that one. Oh. I got into this mushroom's mouth early. Uh, oops. Uh, yeah, these are like little mushroom guys that will eat you, and you can jump out of them with super height. It's kind of a fun gimmick. But sometimes, like, it just doesn't even 
It takes three jumps to do it, but sometimes they just don't want to listen to you. It's very frustrating. I hate them, but I love them. Oh, funky little guys. Um, this next jump is very precise. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh my god, I made it. I didn't really expect that, but wow. Nice. We're in. So I got to this er like this area very early. So we're just taking intentional damage and going to this next part to activate a button and get the the last ticket for this general area. And this is another death warp that we need to do. We line it up. And he's dead. We did it, boys. Unbelievable. So now we're back at this part, but now we're running against a cycle that I need to catch up with. Uh, that mushroom can really mess you up here, but as long as you like bash him into the wall, give him some brain damage, uh, it's all good. And now we're at the end of this part. I know that you're just just for you know the audience. I'm sure some of you will have seen, but like you know, Broby's doing a good job of describing everything. But there's so much you know going on that he isn't describing that like looks super precise. <laughs> like just just that little moment of going off the elevator as it was going back up to collect uh, an extra couple of tokens. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. I imagine if you mess that up. Yeah. If you mess up gra grabbing that one token, uh, it can be very bad. You either have to wait for that mushroom to come down and follow you, like you have to go up that uh, elevator again and go grab him. He can give you the extra height to go up there, or you can do like the most precise jump in the game to just barely get it off like the little oh. yellow antenna that you have. You have to like play around with that. Dang. Also, th this room isn't bad at all, but it can be very bad sometimes. Like it can just like, just knock you everywhere, but it's very short. Now this room, uh, I'm also running against cycles as well. There's a lot of that in this game, but I can grab like these these tokens through the wall, which will save me some time. But I am already behind some few cycles. Every cycle saves seven seconds, so it's pretty it's pretty chunky. And I'm trying to get through this early, but. <laughs> Wow, he's taking my sweet time. So I'm just grabbing more uh, tokens to the walls because it's very balanced, very well thought out. And right here, I want to challenge this guy, shoot that bomb right at that wall. I could not see, I just had to like guess and I hope I got the wall. <laughs> it should break. There's a purple token there. And okay, I got it, yeah. Nice. We are good. And that's the end. Nice. We just head back to the hub world and get our next upgrade. It does look incredibly useful to have a double jump. Even like not just for, you know, getting to places that were hard to get to originally, like just for safety as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very uh, easy to use. I feel like, yeah, not having the, dub the double jump uh, early makes it so you get used to the game more. Mm. So I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. I'm surprised like I don't get myself like, I always, like, I'm not, I'm surprised I don't get like used to the double jump. Like whenever I reset, like you don't have the double jump. So I don't know, like even without it, I'm just used to it. Like, it's not needed. Mm. It's just kind of a helpful thing. It's so right there, there's just a wall you can touch and it opens up this gateway to a ticket. But yeah, we're just doing some hub movement right now and opening up all these, uh, these next levels and all that. That's about it. But right here, you can skip a, a puzzle with our new uh, upgrade, 
the freeze. You can just do it in the water when you're not supposed to if you just time a jump right. So you just float up with the ice. That's our new upgrade, just the freeze ray. And it's probably the best uh, upgrade in the game because if you use that uh, freeze ray while you collect things, it will skip the animations. So it's very useful for that reason. It'll just save you m like multiple seconds. Wow. I'm having trouble with slopes though. Today I and learned now... that a uh, rocket robot on wheels walked well, sort of rode <laughs> so, uh, so minions could run freeze ray before it was cool. Oh my god. Yeah, now we're inside Jojo's mouth. Uh, the villain, the raccoon. The statue of him anyways. Um, and we just did this quick little puzzle. We get so much out of it, so it's pretty cool. And if I time it correctly, which I didn't, you can like re-grab that nose of his. You can just re-grab it and go back up. But it's like, it doesn't make sense half the time. It works and doesn't work at the same time. Don't know. Oh. If I miss any of these tokens, it's, it's game over. So we're trying to collect 64, or no, 65 uh, tickets throughout the game so we can get to the final world. And now we have a little nail minigame. Fun for the whole family. They're not annoying at all. <laughs> I was about to say, the aiming system doesn't look terrible. Is it terrible, or are you just making it look really easy? I'd say it's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've heard people have trouble with it, but it ain't bad. I imagine there's a knack to it, like you get more used to it over time. Definitely, yeah. Alright, the fourth world, Arabian Flights. And now we're in a flying carpet most of the level. Every world has like their own little uh, like vehicle. And they're all pretty cool. I'm gonna confess, I haven't seen much of this world, but somebody in chat has said Arabian Flights is the worst level in any collectathon. And no, <laughs> I know, I'm just saying that because it took me five hours to find the last token. <laughs> That's true, this one is very bad if you're trying to find the last one. It does, I was about to say, with everything sort of separated from each other, it does look like it could be pretty brutal. Yeah, I, I do think this is probably the worst level in the game. It's pretty good, but yeah, for that reason, it's it's bad. Also, the level where you have to like, collect the, the tokens, or I meant the upgrades, or the machine parts, yes. The machine parts, it's very bad. It's, it's really <laughs> bad. We skip most of those in the game, though. We just don't go for them in any percent. Because they take way too long to collect and to do. I took forever with that tower minigame. But we're out. So yeah, once you're in the carpet and just collect them, you don't have like an animation, so you want to be in it. And just collect everything. Nice. Yeah, I'm seeing a general consensus in the chat about this stage. Um, I don't think I don't think it's all too popular. <laughs> it's a fun stage, but yeah, that is it's really rough for, with that reason. Mm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the theme. I, I definitely like the look of this game. It is a very cozy. No way, a '90s platformer with without you know dreadful depth perception. Could Definitely. never, could never be Crash Bandicoot. Nice. I never understood that puzzle as a kid, so <laughs> I feel very dumb for now knowing. <laughs> Just trying to grab all these, uh, you know, tokens. And we're almost uh, going into a room that doesn't have the carpet. The magnet room. Ooh. Spooky. Oh god. It's interesting that we're seeing a theme of you know folks that have uh, have played this when you were younger. I had a hot fix show the other day, and somebody said you know the reason that they ran the game that they ran was sort of like to get revenge or to like you know avenge the time that they spent when they were younger on the game is 
I know you mentioned. That's a good reason. I know you mentioned that you'd sort of, you know, you completed most of the game when you were when you were younger. But similar sort of thing here. I honestly didn't complete like any of this game. It was like a hand me down. So when I was like five years old, I just explored the world and didn't really know any of the puzzles. Like, this is an area. Okay, cool. So like, t like recently, like I played this game. Uh, no, and no, no just thoughts, experiencing just that. Vibes. <laughs> yeah, just experiencing this game, like for what it actually is, and but knowing the locations is really cool. It's like, oh, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, I imagine quite rewarding, especially like given how big, you know, the scale of this being a collectible on it is. So yeah, that magnet room I was in, there's like a whole bunch of like rooms you need to open up, but if you just like do the hovering glitch, uh, you can just skip it all. And now we're just, we just open up all these uh, crystals that we need to go under and then do them in the right order. And then now we activate this one. And then just in time, we can follow this eagle who's holding one of the tickets. And I got it like yeah. super early. You have to follow him for kind of a while, so that's pretty good. Wow. <laughs> I'm surprising myself, what the frick? <laughs> uh, but now we have over 650 uh, tokens, and that's all you need for the rest of the game. Because that's for the final upgrade. I mean, you would need more, but you don't really, because we can skip it all. But yeah, now we have uh, like a, a grapple, like a hook shot, basically. Oh, nice. Yeah, pretty cool. And we can just like hit this uh, loading point or uh, the loading point for the next area early with the, the hook shot, a grapple. And now we go into this monstrosity of a elevator. Oh yeah, and that's that's quite the quite the elevator. And with this elevator, we can get to a area extra early. And I got it first try. Cool. Uh, so this is where you're supposed to like exit out of the area, and there's like some like secret wall, but we just like <laughs> okay. go like behind it all. That wall did so we not do exist. it extra early. And this is just a long waiting room, basically. Fun. Just trying to collect all the tokens, because this is still the hub world, so we need it. Yeah. But all the other worlds we go into, uh, we don't collect at all. We don't need to anyways. I need to watch it for my health. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is a very intense rotating room. Just lava. That's all it is, man. Never in doubt, Broby's. Broby's just, you know, it's easy. Light work. Oh! I've never had that happen to me, like, just going back into that room. Oops. <laughs> okay. A little bit funky. Okay, and now we're at the fifth world? Food Fright. This is probably my favorite uh, world, maybe. I don't know. They're all pretty cool. It's like this like wacky uh, food, uh, like candy place. It's Candyland, man. So we got like chocolate everywhere. Nice. It's candy. It's it's Willy Wonka. That's all it is. I'm a big fan of the walls. Like, oh, they look like they're just a photo of marshmallows. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I got a I got a death. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even. How did I lose health? What did I do? But yeah, we're just like trying to collect all the. What am I doing? Um, the pieces 
like the the machine parts because it is required for this these next two worlds. Mm -hmm. And now there's the marshmallows again, or mushrooms, but now they're marshmallows because nice. food. Yeah, I love how the oh. walls do just look like someone's taking a photo of marshmallows and just, you know, yeah, we'll just put them on there. <laughs> People won't realize that we haven't modeled them. They just, they're just there. Oh. Nice. Okay, I got it. It's kind of a tight jump. And now we have like this weight mini game, but we can just grab a enemy that weighs a ton, freeze him, and grab just one of these balls and rocket himself. And it's the perfect size. Hey. Uh, but this level is very uh, like tight for its like health management because there's a trick at the end of this level that is just basically luck and you just use all your health on it. So I do not want to take like any health here. But yeah, we got all the pieces. We enter the mouth. And it opens up new things. The uvula. But yeah, th those are all the upgrades. Uh, every upgrade is pretty good. Like, they're all very useful. Because, like, most games, I feel like, would just, like, not use any of them, but they're used, like, everywhere throughout the game. Very nice. Oh, that's cool. So it doesn't feel like, you know, you're going out of your way to get an upgrade that's you know, not really worth your time. Exactly, nice. yes. Yeah. Maybe the freeze isn't used as much, I'd say, but in the speedrun it's used like every second. So mm -hmm. It works out. Okay. Oh, I am for as a backup, I am going to go in to this tube. Okay. I mean, no, this is intentional. It's faster. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, that thing I was talking about that no. just wastes your health and it's just luck. Uh, uh, that'll be a backup that'll send me up to this area again. So, I'll take it. If I die, which won't happen. If I die, which won't happen. Actually, I, I kind of messed up. I shouldn't have uh, taken it there. There's another spot you can take that's quicker. We have another ring minigame. Not with a vehicle this time, so just just a raw wheel. And there's this <laughs> other dude. Uh, we can just go behind him and take the the ticket that would be inside of him as we blow him up. But you know, we can just tickle his back. Grab that early and then skip all these dudes. And these platforms, oh my god. They're flipping out. <laughs> Alright, so here's the other two that I'm just gonna grab just in case. I don't think it'll happen, but if I lose uh, all my health, yeah, it's... it's like a good. Slightly, like slightly two minutes to get back here. I can, I can see why people feel that. Like. 
I think this nice. base, like this place, is very like just colorful and neat. Oh my gosh! That's mainly the reason why I like this world. It just looks good. I've heard people say that like, they hate it just because of the look of it. It's like vomit-inducing. Like it just looks like a mess. But uh, no, it's pretty cool. I'm right. They're wrong. Ooh. But I can get that totally. It looks kind of a mess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we just climbed up that kaiju. Just that's not intentional. It's just something you can do. But here's the last, uh, not last, uh, vehicle that you need to go into. Um, but if you frame perfect pause, uh, you can just go inside of it. It's telling you, hey, you don't have enough tokens. But we're just going in anyways. Oh, please. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> See, that's the thing I was talking about. You just hope you go, you go over that part and you can just skip this whole area. But uh, I did not get it. So now I'm back and we can just try again. Nice. Yeah, you need eight. Here's like the final, final world, but not actually the final world, uh, pyramid scheme. Because like, the next part is like not a world, but it basically is, so. Oh. Well, and this like whole... A, a surprise world at the end. I guess, yeah. It's basically like the final boss and like final level all mixed into one, but it's uh, neither of those. If that makes so, any sense. So it's like it, but also not like it? <laughs> yes! He gets it. Um, so I'm just taking like intentional hits so I can uh, do another death warp later on. But okay. I just still gotta look out for my health. Um, but this whole level is like, has like its gimmick with uh, day and night. Uh, once we get all these pieces, or not day and night, like future and past, kind of. Mm. Um, like once we get all the pieces for the machine, machine parts, uh, we can uh, enter like the bad future. It is basically Sonic CD, this level. <laughs> so this is like the past, you know. But once we go into the the next part, it's it's a uh, it's bad. So it's, it's like an inverse Sonic CD because we we want the robot to win. Oh shit. I mean, shoot, I mean... It's alright, you good. Uh, mushrooms. Uh, I was talking about the, the mushrooms that were in the level earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see, I see. Yeah. Also, just yeah. a heads up for the for the folks either watching on Twitch or YouTube. Hello, if you're watching on YouTube, you should, you should check us on Twitch. I think we were having a little moment with Twitch there where we had a couple of frame drops, but I think everything is staying solid at the moment. We we pray for Twitch and its systems, but uh, yes, no, I mean... I am every, sorry. Every, everything seems to be yeah, fresh. This gameplay is fresh. I like it. I was goofing, but uh, you were a distraction, so it all worked out. <laughs> no one it's saw. Right. Unless they go back on YouTube. That's. <laughs> you could just that's you could the... pretend it was you know first try every try for everything. It's all it's all intentional. It's all all, all a manipulation. <laughs> but uh, the the freeze uh, upgrade that I have, if you use it on like a plate, like that sends you up. It just sends you up. Like you go, like so high that you can just skip a lot of platforming and you can just go up that uh, pyramid early like I was doing just like that but I kind of sucked so yeah now we're in like the, the bad place oh no everything's in ruin oh, no. but uh it doesn't matter we're collecting things we don't care about this place so yeah, now we have the final vehicle, basically. It's this Batmobile cycle. I did not even mean to say mobile, like Batmobile. I just, it's just the, 
a motorcycle with bat wings on it. <laughs> it's probably the best uh, vehicle in the game. It's pretty fun if you just mess around with it. Okay, now I'm up here, and now we're going down. And if you use like the grapple uh, ability, oh god, I've got so much height off that. Uh, you can, and the freeze ray. If you use either the grapple or freeze ray at the right time, you can uh, just like get a lot of downward momentum and just fall a lot better. And I just skipped this room just by going on those. We get into the, the bat wing again. That's good. What's, I forget what it's called. Um, <laughs> but now we got the ring mini game. Oh my God. Everyone jump for joy. Wow, this is this is almost as good as Superman 64. You know, you take what you can get. <laughs> truly, truly it's, inspirational gameplay. Honestly, the ring games are pretty fun in this game. They're like they're just okay. They're not bad. They're not amazing. Yeah, they look fun. I, I, it's yeah. the sort of thing that I definitely enjoy. I mean, I, I was about to say I'd enjoy it when I was younger. I would definitely still enjoy this now. <laughs> Yeah, they're quite fun. But one mess up and it's basically over. Yeah. It's very easy to like also just somehow like get into a car crash with this thing. Oh. So, okay, I did make it. I thought I fell. We're nearing the end. <laughs> uh, hopefully I can get this one jump. Oh, kind of got it, but I want to take one extra hit. Um. Is we're going for another death war, but this one's like kind of tricky. Okay. Oh, Rose playing shy. Okay. Uh, so I want to just time this jump right. I want to drop the bomb and land on the the ticket and die at the same time. Wow. So I don't get the the animation and I just leave early. Smooth, so smooth. And that's those are all the worlds. And then here's the last, uh, you know, token, and it gave me the the ticket for it, so I got all of them. And now we have 65, and we can enter JoJo's world, the Gauntlet. Ooh, good luck. And right here, I'm gonna try to skip a a long text thing, and I got it. So <laughs> mashing is fun. Nice. So basically, just like all the the things that were like in previous worlds will just basically pop up in this part. And if you get a game over here, I mean, it makes sense, but you gotta restart from the beginning. And if you get really far, like this, this is about like six minutes long. So if you mess up at the very end, uh, oops. I know there's generally mixed reception on the uh, Nintendo 64 controller. How how easy is it with this game's control scheme, do you find? When I uh, started learning this game, I did not like feel good playing it. It felt really rough, like just trying to like get better movement. So I got a different controller. I got the Hori Pad Mini. Shocking. And it feels like a gift. <laughs> from God, bro. It's 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 so good. I can't imagine playing on an N64 controller anymore. Mm, yeah, un un understandable to be, fair, to be fair. Like I've always been like, not against it, but like iffy about different controllers for just you know the, the Nintendo controller. Like it's kind of messed up, but oh yeah, th this feels right. There's like mm. no other way. Oh no no no! Oh my! God. Uh, I got super lucky there because uh, I don't even, I was not, I did not mean to go for that strat. I was just like intentional. I mean, not intentional. I mean, just, you know. Good, good recovery. Good recovery. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's basically just like luck because like that, there's like a fan that is always on the cycle and it can just be in your way. And if you mess it up, it can lose like 20 seconds. Uh -huh. uh, and also, once you destroy the wall, debris will fly everywhere, and it will knock you out of the air. It just kind of luck. It just kind of happens. So like, there's like just a bunch of luck with that. Um, and I got hit by the debris, but I thankfully just like dodged it. Nice. 
And then I would have died, but then I got like an extra hop. Uh, if I just did like a frame perfect hop off the lava, it'll give me a higher boost. So I got like super, super lucky. But I've been just like skipping all this like magnet stuff that no one wants to deal with. And then now we have to go for an actual hover. It's mm. like in that magnet room for the... Oh my god. But this one's the worst of the worst. Ooh, yeah, that's quite a... That's quite oh, a fly. okay. Hey, yo. Okay, I'm really bad at that. I feel like whenever I watch other runners, like their mm. PVs, they get it like first try. I'm like, oh god, okay. <laughs> That's how it is. Maybe uh, maybe it's easier on a uh, Nintendo 64 controller. Just saying. <gasps> oh. Just saying. maybe. All right, I'm throwing this in the dumpster. <laughs> or maybe maybe the strat is to uh, change controller mid mid run. <laughs> that works. Um, with the grapple here, you can just like I don't know, carry your momentum off that pad that sends you upwards, so you can just skip that entire section, and that's probably the worst section of the game. It's very janky. You, have to just, you just have to like keep going on those like bounce pads over the lava, and it doesn't work properly at all. So it feels really good to skip it all. Okay. Whenever I watch people play it, it's, it's rough. And this segment, um, you just rotate this thing with your momentum. Very, very cool. I don't believe it. My Sinister Spider won't be nearly so simple. No way. For this, you're supposed to break all of its arms off and proceed, but we can just get like a, a damage boost off and do that. Oh, no. Or you can just hit the spider arm, the first one, and just jump up on top of the spider. And this is like nearing the end. Uh, this part is very, like, jank, and is very long, but we can just, like, I don't know if I got it. I didn't get it. Oh, shoot. Yeah. It depends on, like, your angle for that jump. Um, because, like, it's, like, sending you everywhere, but, yeah, okay. Here, I'm just blowing that arm off and, you know, continuing. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> being, being safer with the health. Because this, I don't like this part at all. <laughs> it's very bad. Is this... Just doing this endless climb and it like, there's like this like gravitational pull it does. I don't even know how it works. It's so random. Big run killer potential, I imagine. It's not that bad, but I just got unlucky with like how it gra I grabbed it. Ah, uh, okay. Because you want the height off it, so I got it there. I didn't get like a good like launch off it before, and it just death forced me up here. So, oh, uh, so you I've only got. It. Sorry. Yeah, come on. I, I was... uh, I, I've only got one HP left, and the final boss right here. This is the final boss in quote a rotating ball with like, rotating soccer ball with lava on it. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Yeah. Final. Final boss. Um, and it's the slow uh, walk. And hopefully you don't fall or hit the lava. <laughs> now, now and we I gotta can, hit that plate. Now I can secretly say that this is actually a uh, World Cup themed episode of Going Places because of the soccer ball. Um, Let's go! Genius. <laughs> Funny that was a... So, uh, yeah, go on. Yeah, this is spoilers, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if you want to get to this point. Uh, like, you know, early blindfolded, didn't know what's happening. You know? Alright, so... My brother was using the controller. Time's coming up once it fades to black. And the debris might hit me into something, so I gotta make sure. Alright, three, two, one, time. Oh! GG. The, the that final section is very anticlimactic, but when you get a when you get a good PV, it feels very good. You just crush through it. It's like yeah. So, but that's it. Nice. We saved the park. You've captured Jojo and saved the park from certain ruin. I can't.
can't thank you enough. I don't know how we'll clean up all this mess before we open though. Uh oh. And there are still tickets and tokens to find. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no. Got the bad ending. Lots to do, so little time. Be good. Look at his little face. <laughs> this little guy. And there's the last ticket. Nice. <laughs> wow, good job. That looked like a 55-50 on our end. You might have been timing on your end, so it might be a bit more accurate, but... I didn't even stop the timer. <laughs> I was, well... <laughs> Oops. Uh, there we go. Yeah, 55 that was our timing. Yeah. That's not bad. That's top three. It's pretty good. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, and considering your <laughs> estimate was, you know, quite a healthy 110, I imagine just in case the last world uh, didn't quite go in your favor, but it... It yeah. did enough, and yeah, solid. Run. It worked Thank out you very much. Yeah, that wasn't bad. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Little few uh, bad mistakes, but honestly, I, I backed them up pretty well. Nice. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> if you, yeah, is there? Because people are. Um, there's a lot of love for this game in the chat. Um, I don't know whether there's enough love for people to start running this game, but if they were interested, is there are there any particular resources that they can find? Yeah, there's a, a great tutorial by Mashi that you can watch. Uh, that's what I learned, or used to learn it, and it, it's pretty much perfect. Uh, there's also a Discord you can go to. It's not very active, but uh, I'm like they'll respond right away if you have any questions, for sure. And uh, that's about it. Uh, it. The community isn't very active. There's not a lot, but there's a lot of potential for this game. And I hope more people uh, start to love it more for a speedrun. Nice. I've been seeing a lot of people just uh, say that they love this game in the chat. So it makes me very happy. Yeah, there's been a lot of love. Well, um, if people were not just interested in the game, but also interested in you. Do you do any streaming and where, where can people find you? I stream on Twitch under Broby underscore SR, as in speedrun. Wow. No, wait, you speedrun? Okay, yeah. You speed I think I do. Yeah, if it kind of gave it away. If the allegations are true, you might speedrun. <laughs> I might just speedrun. But yeah, uh, I also am on Twitter under Broby CA, as in Canada, not no California. Way. Yeah, I'm Canadian. Sorry. My condolences. I mean, I'm British, so I'm not much better. So, <laughs> is what. And it I'm is. also, I'm also on YouTube. I just post uh, my YouTube videos there, just like my my speedruns. So go follow me there if you like. And um, shout out to Hypnotics. <laughs> Nice. Shout outs to yeah. you. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for running Broby. Um, yeah, everybody go go check out Broby and go check out this game. Um, you put that there's a lot of love for it and that there's a lot of potential. We always love to hear that from speed games, but we're going to go from potential to portable. We are going to be having Crush as our next run. So it grows is going to be bringing us that game very shortly, but we're going to have a little break. We're going to have a chance to, you know, get up. Have a stretch. We've had a solid hour or so of, uh, of gameplay watching. So if you fancied a quick, you know, a quick, um, what's the magic? Quick stretch, quick hydration break, then we will see you very shortly with some PlayStation Portable action, PlayStation Portable platforming action. So many Ps. See you in a second. The Games Done Quick Hotfix, where we go around the world looking for region exclusive games, as well as the games that we would take on our travels on handheld consoles. Well, we started off our, our evening with a lovely run of Rocket Robot on Wheels, which uh, only came out in West for Western audiences. Um, and in fact, actually, just two weeks ago, we had another robot somewhat inspired game. We had Custom Robo version 2 or V2. Um, if you are interested in catching that run or this run when it comes up on YouTube or the run that you missed just before, um, those will go up on our YouTube at Games Done Quick. And we also have a highlights channel where you can find out the best of what happened, you know, throughout the weeks on our various different Hotfix shows. But that's for things that have happened or things that are about to happen. But what is about to happen 
is we're going to be getting some crush on the PlayStation Portable, courtesy of Stoic Rose. Rose, how are you doing? Hi there. I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. Fabulous. Indeed. So. All right. Yeah, crush. What is what is crush? Because I think like um, I yeah. feel like most people who know about this game probably found it through the 3DS version uh, because there was a free demo for it, and I played the heck out of that back in the day, and that's how I found out about it. And then years later, I found out there's a PSP version. That's really cool. Um, it's a game where you can switch between 3D and 2D. Um, to solve cool puzzles and all that. It's about this guy named Danny who can't sleep to save his life, so he goes to see this doctor guy and puts him in a machine. And then uh, he can now crush. You'll, it'll, it'll make more sense later on, trust me. I, I, I hate when I go to the doctors and they start I know, doing right? that to me. I know, right? It sucks. Unreal. Happens to me all the time. How dare they? Alrighty. Well, we are ready whenever you are. You can count us in and we'll, we'll get the time All going. right. So, I have already messed up. Okay. Um, <laughs> the thing about this game is that I used to run it on emulator, but because mm -hmm. of emulator problems with just like, it's not even newer versions of the emulator. It's just like the emulator now doesn't work. Um, I have to play this on PS Vita. So I am playing this through my PS Vita right now. Uh, welcome to my PS Vita. Please enjoy your stay. All right, we will start um, as soon as I press X to exit this little prompt right here. So mm -hmm. can I get a countdown? Or should I count it down? Uh, whatever you want. I'd be privileged to, to have the countdown. But if you want right. to, you can. Three, two, one, start. All right, here we go. Good luck. So, um... These first five levels are going to be tutorial levels. These happen at the beginning of every world, pretty much. Um, throughout the game, they become less and less frequent, but we're just going to mash through some text here, move Danny around a bit. Uh, right now, we are not in Danny's mind. We are in Crush's mind. And one thing I'm going to mention right off the bat with these cutscenes is that um, every time a cutscene happens in this game... Uh, hold on, wait. Yes, okay, I was really worried I wasn't going to get that trick. So, every cutscene in this game has some level of jank. Uh, first and foremost being that, um... Uh, you cannot jump for, like, a second after... Um... After a cutscene happens and you, like, end it. So, um... There's, like, some important routing up later on with that. Uh... So, we're just going to jump down here, grab these marbles... Also, you can pretty much interrupt every single cutscene in this entire game by uh, crushing. It's some really, really weird stuff going on, but like... Please, yeah, there's the first please, level, by the way. Please don't oh, tell me that the collecting the marbles is like a play on the lost your marbles. Oh, you know? oh you know it is. Oh. Danny has completely <laughs> lost his marbles, and we have to find every single one. Oh my gosh. Yes. Incredible. Incredible. So as you can see right here, I was pressing X and I could not jump there. Um, it's a. It comes into play a lot later on. It's it's a very weird mechanic. Uh, there, like I mentioned earlier, there is a 3DS version of this game, and a lot of the the weird jank in this don't exist in that. So like the 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 cutscene thing doesn't even happen and you also have a lot more air control which is super important later on okay. um so we're just gonna finish up this level some levels you cannot avoid getting every marble uh like that one right there uh the first level i thought for a long time you had to collect every marble but you did not uh you only have to collect two uh oh speaking of marbles uh blue ones are worth one Pink ones are worth three, and red ones are worth ten. Marble routing is an incredibly important part of this game, and usually going for the red marble, even if it is a little bit out of the way, can save you a ton of time. Uh, speaking of marble routing, we're going to do that right now. We're going to skip those marble, that like those two right there, um, so that I won't get cut on a, I won't get like caught on a, a lip later on. So usually, what would happen is I would like get the 
the level opening cutscene right there, and then I would be stuck not being able to jump for a bit. But because I skipped that one, uh, we got all the marbles in the correct order, and it um, didn't trigger the cutscene until I was like level with the exit. I don't know if that's making sense at all, but yeah. Uh, I'll take your word for it. I will take your word for it. So here we are coming up on uh, hazards. These things are like very rarely used throughout the entire game. Also, I got hit there. Oops. Um, so we have hazard blocks, alarm clocks, and uh, cockroaches, which you probably caught a glimpse of right there. Alarm clocks are a weird mechanic because uh, you don't technically have to disable them to beat the level. You can basically just skip them and move on, except for that one right there, because it won't let you uncrush. Uh, we're going to crush this cockroach. Very grody. Um, and then we're going to crush right here and go to the exit. Cool, cool. Fantastic. Indeed. So, so we're coming up... Oh. I was just going to ask about the 3DS version, because, like, oh. it's quite apparent, like, you know, how everything works with just the, v well, the Vita slash PSP display. How is the second screen utilized? Oh, it is used for HUD and nothing else. <laughs> Wow, okay. Also, I apologize for the, the button mashing. It is quite a bit... Uh, there's a lot of it. It's all right. It's a speed run. It's, it's mostly for the tutorials. Uh, here we come on uh, a, another weird thing about cutscenes. These little things right here, if you jump while they're activating, usually there's a little cutscene of it like zooming in on it. Oh, I've never done that before. I've never missed that jump. Wow. Okay. Uh, good start. <laughs> Alright, there's the last of the first world tutorials. So now we're going to move on to uh, the city. Um, there's a weird glitch that can happen whenever you go into a level where if you mash X and L at the exact same time, you can like crush during the, the level entrance. I don't know if I'll get it in this run, but I want to see if I can. There's a few levels where it's optimal, so hmm. that's this is one of those. Um, there's the first level. Easy as that. I'm gonna Impressive. keep the I'm gonna keep the mashing to a minimum. <laughs> there's a lot of loading screens in this game. Uh, between pretty much every level, you have a bit of downtime to like read chat or just like relax. And relaxing you will need to do later on, because some of these levels get really intense. Um, I Also, I can't hear the game right now, but I will let you know when jams are coming up. Because this game has an awesome soundtrack. I love it so much. So, if we're in this machine and we're... Are we in this guy's head at the moment? Correct. Yes, we are. We are inside of his mind. So in... In the... Um, the 3DS version, you're not in Danny's mind. They changed the story entirely. It's kind of dumb, but uh, you're in the robot instead, and everything looks like way cleaner. But because we're in Danny's head right now, um, everything looks very like twisted and weird. I, I love how this game looks. All right, more marble routing. We're gonna grab those two right there, and then hop up here so that while I'm uncrushing the... right there. Uh, the little grace period where you can't jump activates, like, while the... Yeah, while I'm uncrushing. Ask, I was about to ask, like, what, you know, the buildings represent, but I guess just, you know, a slightly uh, confused, confused mind. I do believe the story of this is that Danny can't sleep, and so the doctor guy, Dr. Rubens, um... Ooh, wait. Oh, uh, the song. The song in this level is awesome. I know that. Um, Let's go. Uh, what was I talking about? Dr. Rubens? That's right. Okay. Uh, Dr. Rubens uh, explores Danny's mind and is like, Okay, so, Danny, my guy, where did you go wrong? <laughs> and Danny's like, I, I moved out and I started feeling sad. And so Dr. Rubens is like, All right, to the city you go. And then you go to the city in his head. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> As, as one does, of course. You know. <laughs> Solution to everything. Uh, what level are we on? I'm trying to remember. I think that we have two more levels. Yeah, we have two more levels left in this level set, and then we'll be done with the city. 
Uh, this game has a weird level structure where you don't have to do every level. You can, you basically just can do only six and then you're done. Uh, I feel like there was something I was going to mention about this level right here. Oh yeah, marble routing. Again, uh, that's a good example of it where while I was uncrushing, I made it so that... I, I made it so that like I went out of the way for one of those marbles. Um, but it saves more time overall because you're not stuck like not being able to jump up a ledge. It's kind of weird to explain. It, it's something that you have to sort of feel to get to know what it's like. Uh, so we're on the last level of city right now. This is, uh, yeah, there's no moss because you're rolling a lot of stones. These are supposed to be stones, but I don't, I don't really see it. There's a trash can that you can jump on right here to go in the background further. Uh, here's an example of collecting the red marble is faster. Uh, you can hop back there to get that. Gonna crush right here, and we have some weird cutscene stuff that's gonna happen. Um, so usually you have to push this twice, but if you time it right... I didn't time it right. <laughs> Oops. Um, but usually you can like time it so that it just keeps rolling the entire time. Uh, we're not gonna worry about the cockroach, and now we're done with city. Marvelous. Um, wonderful. So, give this a moment. And like I said, you only have to do six levels in each world, and then you can move on. So we're gonna go into this next level, and then pause, and then immediately leave. Okay. I wish that there was a way you could like skip this loading screen and just leave immediately, because this one takes forever. All right. Mm. There we go. All right, now we're at the seaside. Uh, so Dr. Rubens is like, all right, it wasn't in the city. Were you lying to me? And he's like, no. And Dan and Danny's like, well, I, I kind of had my girlfriend break up with me at the seaside. Uh, and so Dr. Rubens is like, all right, we're going there next. Uh, oops. Uh, so this level has a weird glitch that I literally discovered in my most recent run, just like on a whim. Um, nice. so it has this little prompt on the screen, or like press circle to push, and if I jump right here, I can skip an entire cutscene, because those marbles are trigger points for activating a cutscene, but if you don't grab them, it never happens. Um... And then it just immediately uncrushes right there, and now that little prompt is gonna stay on screen for the rest of, uh... for the rest of the level. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. And then we have one more tutorial for this world, and then we'll be done with those, and then we'll move on to the actual levels. You might notice that um, everything looks very different in the, tutor the tutorials, and that is because we're technically inside of Crush's mind at the moment. Um, Danny's head is very messy, but Crush's is, like, perfect and pristine and clean and all that. Um, so we're going to introduce a mechanic right here called Thoughts. We kind of introduced them in one of the, the city tutorials, where I said, like, if you jump, you can skip a cutscene. Um, this one, like, locks it so you can't crush, you can't, like, activate crush or uncrush. Um, that one is really, that one can be really annoying in some of the later levels. By the way, this game is hard. Um, casually. And also, just like in the speed run, it can be really tricky at times. Uh, the puzzles later on get super, super like confusing. But like in a like, you have to think about your surroundings in a very interesting way. Okay, here we are. The first main level of Seaside. Uh, dive in. We have these little rocks right here. Uh, hop around a bit. Grab marbles. Oh, yeah. Uh, the reason I'm collecting marbles is because you have to collect exactly half of them to, um... to unlock the level exit. So that's why it is so important that you collect, like, enough of them. So, here we have an alarm clock. Uh, this isn't one of the ones you can skip, unfortunately. In fact, you have to press it to continue the level. There's no other way to. Um... So we're going to hop up these stairs. By the way, the routing on this level bothers me because you have to go up these stairs twice. Um, oh, speaking of the routing, I have, I, I believe with like a few levels being an exception, I have routed like every level in this entire game. Yeah. Uh, nice. yeah. 
Uh, shout out to my guy Spinny, the original runner of this game, who did all levels and routed a few levels. Freaking sick person. Love them. Nice. Uh... So you were mentioning, you were mentioning the, um, oh, it's going to come back to me, the alarm clocks. Yes. What? So you, you had to stop it in that level. What does that actually do? Uh, when it runs out of time, you die instantly. Ah, uh, okay. I can yes, see why very you, might wanna, you might want to stop that in, in some I stages. mean, Danny is trying to sleep, so an alarm clock would be his greatest nightmare. Indeed, <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, I can totally also, get that. Quick note about this level. This is another one that bothers me a ton because of the routing. There's this cycle on this platform. So as you can see, I only have 17 marbles out of 40. So we need to get three more. And the cycle on this platform takes forever, but you have to go all the way down to get that last three. Oh. So, I mean, if anybody can find a way to do this faster, <laughs> uh, hit me up on Discord. Let me know. <laughs> It'd be awesome. Nice work. Indeed. All right. So, there's kind of a special thing about Seaside, and it's that it is host to my least favorite level in the entire game. It's not this one, but I believe it's the one after it. Um, oh, this is one of the ones where I can do the weird trick, I believe. Alright, I didn't get it. Whatever, that's fine. This is Beach Volleyball. This has two of these uh, little cutscenes at the beginning. That's what happens when you actually get caught in one. Uh, but if you jump before it comes on screen, then... Um, then it won't activate. Or like, while it's coming on to screen, I guess, if that makes sense. Alright. I need to make sure to wait for this block to go in the wall, or else... Um, it'll lock this boulder in place and I won't be able to move it. And then I'll have to uncrush, and crushing takes a while, so... I'm not really open to doing that, especially in a speedrun. That's not quite my goal here. Oh yeah. This is one of the levels where, uh... I initially routed it with the red marble, but, um... It took too long, so it was it was faster to just do it normally. All right, next level. This is the hardest level in the entire game. This is on the rocks. Um, I made a video about this a while ago, back in like 2020, about how this is the tightest cycle in the entire game. Um, and it's also very mean. I'm going to try to do this the, the really cool way, where you do it super fast at first, but if I don't get it, then like, whatever, it's fine. So we have this this tower right here where we're climbing with the the yellow little beams going across like a lighthouse. And those beams will make you fall through them if you touch them. And we don't really want that when we're trying to climb up. I'm gonna avoid that checkpoint right there for speed's sake. Oh my gosh, I am not on the right cycle at all. Uh, this is bad. No, it's fine, I got it, I got it. Oh, man, I missed it. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so basically, this this part of the level is what makes it so difficult because, um... Give me just a sec here. As you can see, that, that beam came out right under my feet yeah. as soon as I was jumping up here. Wow. So, uh, nice. yeah, if that catches you, you fall all the way back to the, the, the very bottom, and you die because this game has fall damage and it's very mean. I don't know how I was that far behind. I would have. That was like almost perfect if I had gotten that cycle. Uh, so pretty good on the rocks, all things considered. I didn't die, which is <laughs> ugh, not fun. Always, always a bonus. Yes, it, it, it is a bonus to not die. Uh, this is Jolly Roger. Oh yeah, by the way, on the rocks is really good music. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> I like the the song. It's very. We this game has a lot of like super weird and twisted music that I love a lot, especially in, like, the final levels. Um, very climactic, very cool. So we're gonna push this block, or push this ball. I'm gonna push it and then go down here, uh, to skip a cutscene. That is one of the few cutscenes you can't actually skip. There is a weird glitch where if you collect a marble, um push the rock and open the exit at the same time, it like freaks out and skips all of them at once. Oh wow. But I've only ever gotten it once. Uh, it's a really, really, really weird trick because you have to time everything right. You have to time it like being off screen and like all that. All right, I believe this is the final level of Seaside and then we will move on to Funfair, which is another really hard world. 
Um, let's see. Yes. Okay. This how, is the last how one. How dare the game get harder as you progress? How, I think I think that's a bit it. rude. I, I think it is. I think the game should be like easy baby game by the time I'm done. Yeah. And judging by the theming of the final world, that might be more literal than I thought. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> I, I had a weird glitch happen to me in this level where like I stepped on that rock and it crushed me as if it rolled me over, uh, even Ooh. though it was completely stationary. So. Yeah. Congrats to me for not getting that this time. Uh, wow, I really did. Oh my, oh, okay. Wow, I really did just miss that. Oh my gosh. I've never had that happen before. Great, cool. Some of these levels get really choppy. Uh, the PSP uh, doesn't like running this game. Uh, the PS Vita runs it a little bit better, but um, still it gets pretty... Pretty, pretty, pretty uh, laggy later on. Because uh, these levels get big and there's a lot of effects and like stuff in the background. All right, there's mm. Seaside. We're done with that now. Um, we're going to go see clowns. I hope you guys like clowns because we're going to go see a lot of clowns. Oh, wow. The world is yes. a theme. A theme there there is a theme. Oh my gosh, you're right. I didn't even realize that. Gonna had sadly have to disclose that there are not any clowns in our last game. Sadly, dang uh, man, I was really hoping to see <laughs> somebody defuse a clown. I mean, I wouldn't put it past it. The, the our last <laughs> game is is incredibly wild. I'm really looking forward to. Oh yeah, uh, to Kino showing. Yeah, I, I I have seen a little bit of it, and oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so these are gears. These only uh, activate whenever you crush onto them, and then they like fit together and this is a time stop uh thought these little things on the wall are called thoughts by the way um that like stops objects that are moving and all that all these tutorial levels take a while because there's a lot of text also that was me taking a sip of water Staying should hydrated. clarify very important yes Make sure to hydrate. Always hydrate. Also, I'm worried I'm not going to get the cool, funny trick uh, where you crush as soon as a level starts. I'm sad. But we still have a few more levels where it could happen. Uh, these are block walkers. These take forever and suck and are awful. I hate them. Uh, trust me, I like this game. Uh, we're going to trap this cockroach in a cage. Where it belongs. Okay. And then... Go across right here. This is the final... Um, this is the final tutorial for this world. So does and every then, world start with its own set of tutorials? Correct, and there become... There's five at the beginning, and then two in... Funfair and Seaside, and then one in the final world. And the final one has, like, weird jank in it. Um, Alright, this level sucks. That's going to be a, a common trope in, this la in these last two worlds. You're going to hear me saying this level sucks a lot, because you have to wait for, the, for these platforms to line up, because they, oh, they go at a, like, random interval. Uh, you have to wait for them to bounce back and forth four times, so now we are ready to, to begin our ascent, I believe. Yes, okay. I got stuck on this level for a long time because I thought, oh yeah, you just have to climb it at the start really fast. No, you don't. You just have to wait. I, I swear, I was stuck on this level for a, a week. Alright, so we're just gonna grab this red marble right here, hop across, and now we're done. By the way, this is where the, the music gets really crazy. Um, there's a level later on that I'll point it out in. Okay. Alright. Also, the loading times are a lot longer now. Alright, Snookered. I only recently found out what this level was, like, what this level name was referencing. It's referencing pool because you get to do this. You push a ball, and then uh, it does a thing. That's yeah. Cool. I have to wait for this platform to go down, jump on top, 
and then do this. I found a glitch in this level, uh, like, literally last night. Um, I won't get to show it off because it wastes a lot of time, but um, it's like you can crush while falling in midair, and uh, it does a lot of really weird things with the camera and sets it off. Um, just just a casual day in the, the life of Crush for PSP. Uh, there are so many weird things in this game. Alright. That was a pretty good run of that level. Let's see. What's next? All right, come on. Loading times, please. Oh, oh, the Ferris wheel. This one also sucks. See, I told you it'd be a theme. <laughs> All right, so we're going to crush, get that pink marble right there, crush again, uh, grab this one right here. That is such an important marble that I always forget about. Uh, jump onto this platform, which is deceivingly difficult to jump on top of because you don't know when it's going to come out. Uh, jump and grab all of those in a row without having to walk all the way down. I was very proud of that when I figured that out. Grab that marble right there, and then we are done, pretty much. Usually you have to go, like, all the way around and grab a ton of marbles, but, uh, nope. I just sort of do that, and it works every time. Nice. Indeed. Uh, I know what the next level is, and I used to really not like it, but I think it's... Actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna give it the honor. <laughs> that level sucks, too. <laughs> We all we almost got it. We almost we got almost it. got a good we almost got a good reception for it, but no, no, it doesn't deserve it. This is rush job. Um, again, one of my least favorite levels in the game. Uh, so we're gonna crush right here. Step on that button. Hop back over, and now it opens up this. Um, you know that you would have thought they called it crush job, but you know, whatever. <laughs> They, they couldn't do a double pun. It's fine. Step on this button to uncrush back here. Uh, usually you'd like uncrush on top of... You, okay, so if you uncrush while you're on top of some platform, it will always send you to like the tile closest to the camera. Um, but if you like are standing on top of something that's even slightly elevated up, you will be standing on top of that when you uncrush, and that's how that works. Um, I have lost paces to that crush right there because uh it's very unwieldy how it works um gonna get this cycle pop up here do this and i i i need to get that one last marble that's fine um again marble routing is so important I just got it back up. That's all. Nice. In fact, fantastic. It's just, yeah, the game called me fantastic. Also, the song coming up in the next level is amazing. Is there anything that like hinges like on what is said at the end of the stage? Does that like depend on how many marbles you collected, or is it just random? Um, no, it is completely arbitrary. I I took an okay. Cool fun fact about this game, I took an hour on the final level of this game when I first played it because it is so unbelievably complicated and weird and awful. Um, yeah, I love that stage, as I'm sure you're, you can tell. Um, and even then, I like it literally said... There, okay, so this game has IGT at the end of every level, and it, it, it actually said like an hour and four minutes were on that level. Yeah. Yes, it was it, it was a rough night that stream. <laughs> I, I was so tired. I, 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 I think that stream was two hours long and I did four levels. Wow. Yes. Wow. So yeah, uh, easy game, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're going to push these right here. Um. I'm gonna do this one first. This level is dependent on stacking these these boulders. Um, gonna switch that platform up. I was about to say this one does look particularly complex. Yes, it is. And then push 
this one right here. Do that. And this level has a stylish end that I really like. Um, so I'm gonna grab those two. Let's see here. Do I have every marble I need? Let's see, what am I at? 16? Okay, yeah, I just need one more. And then we're gonna do the most stylish thing ever and crush directly into the exit. There we go. Hey. Did it before the manhole cover even came off. Um... So, I believe that that is the, the fifth level, and then there's six, you have to, you're required to do six levels in each world to finish the game. Um, so I believe that's the fifth, and then, yes, okay, this is the sixth. Again, this is another one I got stuck on when I played this game for the first time. This is Faulty Tower, and remember how I said that you don't need to, to hit these alarm clocks? This is the level I was referring to. Um, there's a level even later on where you do hit it, but you hit it from, like, from behind a wall. Uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, this beginning part is really annoying because of these cycles. Um, and I hate them, and they stink. I wish that there was a faster way to do this level because it takes so long. But... Gonna do that. Usually you'd drop down there, hit the alarm clock, and then do the rest of the level, but we are too fast for that. So, grab all of these. Wait for this block walker to come back. Come here, Bubby. Come on. You can do it. And then right before it's about to crush us, we crush it, hop on top, and now we finish the level. Uh, we have to flip and hit this switch right here. Which is behind a very secretive little corner. Which I mean, like... Um... It's kind of, like, really, really hidden. And I hate it. And now we can just finish it while the alarm clock's going off. Don't worry about it. Even though it was at, like... It was getting dangerously close to the end. And there's fun fair. We're done. And... Now we just have one more world left. The nursery. Remember when I said this is easy baby game? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Literally. Let's see. We're not going to see it right now because I need to quit out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I hacked it up too space. early. I'd like to bring attention to the final four levels of, uh, of Fun oh, Fair, yeah. by the way. If you ever go check those out, they are some of the most complicated games I've ever seen, or complicated levels I've ever seen on a puzzle game. Um, specifically locked in space is a level we don't do in any percent and by we I mean I because I'm the only one who runs this game <laughs> um, but yeah I don't do that level because it stinks it's awful it's horrible it's bad <laughs> I think you get my point so these are medium switches these uh, are going to be big from one angle but small from another uh, here's where the the weird jank I was talking about in this comes into play. If you mm -hmm. grab that, uh, if you grab that checkpoint, um, it'll like trigger a cutscene. But if you skip it, it just doesn't play. Also, these are slugs. Uh, they curl up into little balls if you ever crush them, and then you can step on them. But otherwise, they will kill you. Be careful. All right, and that's the final tutorial level. Say goodbye to all of the funny, like, one-syllable things that they say whenever I'm mashing through their text because you won't get to hear it for the rest of the game. I'm sorry to say. Okay, Finally. so, important thing to note about this level, this was routed by uh, that person I mentioned earlier, Spinny. Um, he created a really good route for this level that, like, really thought outside of the box. Usually you have to, like, go around and, like, um go around like a ton of platforms, but what you do, according to his route, is just jump down here and then you can do it instantly. It is so much faster than my route that I had before, and uh, I thank him greatly for that. He thought of it and was very smart. All right. So, remember how last time there were like 
two portraits in the entire world. Yeah, here's one of the third ones that we... Yeah, I feel like some of the mechanics in this game are very sparsely used because, like, portraits are in, like, three levels in the entire game. Uh, marbles are used a lot. Um, but then stuff like the cockroaches, you see them a ton in the first world and then never again. Uh, hop up here. Crush. Push this down. And then... Is that enough? Yes, it is. All right, there's the first level done. So an important thing I uh, realized about this game, only like weeks before, only like a few weeks before I, I did this run, or no, like a week ago. I don't know why I said that. Um, yeah, exactly a week ago now, I discovered mm -hmm. that um, you only have to do five levels and then the final level in this world. I thought that you had to do six and then the final one, but no. Huh. Also, yes, this song... Remember how I said that the music gets pretty unhinged? This is where <laughs> it really gets there. I was about to say, just because of like how our setups work, I can't actually hear it at the moment, but how Me would, neither, you, but how would I you define it like genre-wise? Um, or does it not... Is it so, you know, is it quirky like that? Does it not really, you know, fit? You ever, like, drop something in the bathtub and it makes a really loud splash noise? Yes. Yes, exa it's exactly like that. All right. I, the, yeah. I yeah, 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 you don't, don't worry about it. There's, a, there's so many, like, weird sound effects and samples that they use for it. There's, like, for the last level, there were, like, uh, or for the last world, there were, like, um clown horns and like circus organs for this it's like child noises i don't know how to describe it <laughs> um and then for seaside there's like sea shanties in the background it's great it's so cool also i think that we're coming up on another least favorite level of mine Yes, we are. This is merry-go-round. Uh, this is cycle the level. Besides, um, on the rocks, this and on the rocks are like the two most cycle-based levels in any percent. Um, so these little platforms go around. There, also, there's a really cool trick that you get to do in this level. Um, usually, you have to like press a bunch of buttons and like do a bunch of platforming, but you can just sort of jump around something and get to the end of the level like that. All right, hop down here, grab this red marble. Red marble is best marble. I'll kiss it to bed and tuck it in. I love it. All right. Up up here. Grab those two. I made a huge mistake in my practice runs last night where like I, I could not jump up here for the life of me. So I'm glad right. I got that right. And now we're just gonna... Now we're just gonna... Oh! Ooh. Okay. Never mind. I, I messed it up. I, I've gotten that right in all of my practice runs, and now, when it mattered most, I messed it up. It's fine, though. We just what, have to wait for another say, What happened? Did you just sort of get yourself wedged in, a, in the wrong place? Or? Um, so you might remember, I said that the 3DS version has better air control. Mm. This that That's what comes into play there, because this game, when you're in... Imagine, like, Castlevania jumps. That's what it feels yeah. like. It, okay. with like, it's very stiff. Mm. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> I was worried if we are gonna miss that cycle again. But we're fine. Never doubted myself. Yeah. First try, first try. Um... First try, every try. As you said. There we go. That's what you're supposed to do there. Congratulations. Usually you have to... Yes. There's a little platform over there that, like, you have to press a button to get it to move. But for this, I discovered that you can just sort of hop around that. And now, um, we're gonna skip this level. Because it sucks and takes two minutes and is the longest level... Uh, one of the longest levels in the entire game, I'm pretty sure. So we're just gonna not do it. Bye. It, nice. It's also tied for the most um, 
the most marbles in any level in the game at 60, Oof. which is so much. Too many. Too many. So we only have three levels left. We have slinking out. We have slinking around, out the frying pan, and then um, the final level. Um, I believe that was my last opportunity to do the cool, funny glitch. I'm sad. I'll do it eventually. Whatever. All right. Slinking around is annoying because of these platforms that go on a cycle, and if you miss it, you have to restart the entire level. All right. Uncrush. Step on this button back here. Make sure you don't uncrush while stepping on top of it, or else it will send you back there and you have to restart. Wait for this cage to slowly rise. Grab that. Jump across very narrowly, missing that. Uncrush. There's a button hidden down here that we have to hit, so I'm gonna do that. By the way, that block blocker right there, if these guys ever touch you while they're moving, they instantly kill you. And I have had so many runs die to this level where I accidentally, like, give it a little, like, tap with my finger and then it instantly kills me. It's very angry at me. It also changed faces as I crush because this game is jank. I used to have this route be a lot longer for this level, but... I recently discovered you just don't have to do that. Yeah. Ooh, good cycle. Nice. Ooh, you can see the frames being really, really choppy here. Yeah. Even mm -hmm. the PS Vita doesn't like running this. <laughs> and trust me, like it run it it can it can get to the point where it runs at like 10 FPS on PSP. It is crazy. Wow. It's like, it doesn't that, seem like the most intensive game, but if you do think yeah, about it, like, PSP was, the, was quite impressive for its time. Oh, absolutely. I love the UMDs. They're, they're like little <laughs> discs in little cartridges. It's great. All right, so this is the last normal level for the game. This is out the frying pan. I used to have a lot of trouble with this one, and then I realized it's not that bad. It just runs really horribly. <laughs> So we're going to catch that cockroach in that cage with stunning alliteration. Ooh, yeah, the frames are chunky here. I Somebody in chat asked if this runs up better on PS TV. I do not know, but I, I really want a PS TV, so I can try that. Okay. Again, I would usually run it on emulator, but it's been having this problem where like a a pop-up shows up in between levels that takes forever, and oh. it's like... Yeah, that's not... <laughs> and doesn't sound it's very fast. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's not even a problem with, uh, like, the version of the emulator, because I downloaded an older one, and it still happened. I don't hmm. know what's up with that. Also, we're coming up on a very funny glitch. Um, so we're gonna dis- Oh my gosh. We're gonna disarm a, an alarm clock through a wall. Wait for these blocks to respawn. As you can see, we're just gonna hop up here, and the alarm clock just magically stops. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I thought that I I thought I died there from fall damage, but no, we're good. Ooh. I was nervous there because I didn't get a checkpoint earlier. Alright. Red marble, best marble. Because we're gonna grab this and then we're gonna be done. Uh, I'm gonna go over to this side. This little block right here has caused me so much grief. I, I, I figured out the hard way, um, on a really good pace run, that if you try to, like, run off into it, um, mm. while it's going into a wall, it will make you fall and die. But if you walk in, like, if you walk off the edge, like, while it's coming out of a wall, it works just fine? I don't know. Huh. Alright, there's the final normal level of the game. And then we're gonna do the end, and then we'll be done. Already, it's gone so quickly. I know, right? This game is really short. Once you you get the hang of it. 
So, like, it from the sounds of things, like you've worked on this a lot. What was you know, oh, yeah. your, your your first couple of times with this game? Like, how how far has um, it come down? It has. I think that my first real run of this game was about fifty minutes. Um, before that, the rules used to be that you only had to beat the end, and then you would uh, finish the game from there. And then I realized that uh, if you don't do uh, five levels before that, the credits don't trigger. So I was like, well, shoot, I have to change the rules. Mm. So, um, yeah. Uh, I believe the first run of this game, which was done by Spinny, who I mentioned before, um, was actually all levels, and that was about an hour and 23 minutes. Um, because as I'm sure you've seen, we, uh, we skip a lot of levels in this run. Oh yeah, by the way, here's the really complicated final level that stinks. Um, you have all these buttons that you press and it like makes all these things pop up and it's like... Ugh, I hated it. I could not figure this out for the life of me. There we go, grab that. What's I talking about? Can you remind me? I'm sorry, I got distracted. Oh, I might have just got distracted as well. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Speedrun brain. It was it's quite funny. Somebody, <laughs> was, somebody was mentioning that speedrun is this game is really short. And oh yeah, that's my the, what you mentioned with you know <laughs> spending several hours on maybe just one level. <laughs> <laughs> this was that level. Yes. There we go. That jump is really difficult because like it doesn't. Uh, a thing that I failed to mention about this game so far is that um, what is it? If you try to run off a ledge that will, like, kill you from fall damage, it just, uh, it won't let you fall off. But that ledge, um, technically won't, but you still want to, like, get your furthest jump. So, you have to, like, really, well, t okay, time, actually. Oh my god, I, to I, I totally forgot about time. Yeah, there's time. Oh, that was time. GG. <laughs> I got distracted. Oops. <laughs> Alright, there's the game. Heck yeah. Oh, we mi did we miss, uh, miss the, the end of the story? Oh, yes. Um, pretty That's much right. what happens is Danny. There's no good ending. Danny just like gets stuck inside of Crush forever. <laughs> I'm oh. pretty sure is what happens. Maybe it's a good um, thing we didn't see it. That sounds yeah, incredibly you know, depressing. <laughs> Danny's Danny's perfectly fine if you don't think about it. So yeah, there's sure. Crush. Wow. Heck yeah. Cool. Thank you, GG. GG. Um, once more. Huge shout out to Spinny um, for doing the first run of this game. Very cool person. Um, if anybody wants to try running this game, I highly recommend it. It is a super interesting run to learn. Um, the 3DS version is pretty much untouched, so that, that would be a cool thing to figure out. Nice. Um, let's see. Oh, there was something else I was going to mention. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> my mom is awesome. Hi, mom. <laughs> Hi, mom. I mean, I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi, Rose's mom. All right, awesome. there we go. That's and, that's about it. And I mean, we we like a little bit of self love here. Shouting out yourself. Where could people find you? Um. um you can find my my speedruns on YouTube uh, on a channel called Machi Hellhole, M A C H I underscore H E L L H O L. Yeah, uh, that's where I post all my, my speedruns. I post all my art on Tumblr um, at stoic underscore rose, or no, stoic dash rose. Um, I have a Twitter that I never use. <laughs> Stoic double underscore rose. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for awesome. having me. This was great. Thank you for thank you for coming on. I've I've had this game in mind for quite a while, and I'm I'm really glad that you were up for showing this off. Because oh I mean, I don't gosh. I don't know who else I would go to for showing it off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We might get some new runners from this. Who hint, knows? hint, nudge, nudge. I mean. 
I have been tempted by it because I think the idea of like learning puzzle speedruns, especially for me, because I'm I'm not very intelligent. Like it can give, <laughs> it can give you know like the general public that's just like, oh yeah this guy's really clever and I'm just like I just I've just learned a like I, a I, I've I've memorized everything. <laughs> yeah, I've I've looked at a word document. This is this isn't anything. So no, I am tempted. I am tempted. Yeah. So um, no, Honestly, thank you though. so much. Thank you so much for showing that off. And of course, every- of course. Um, yeah. Everybody look forward to Suzuki Bakuhatsu next game. Indeed, Freaking... yes, everybody. Oh, you are, are in for a treat I mean, in that these, one. These games have been, um, they've been a little goofy. interesting, but um, yeah. we're going we're gonna to turn that up to the max. We've got Suzuki Bakuhatsu, oh, yeah. and if there's anything that I can tell you about it, it's, you know, um, bomb defusal in random It's objects. the bomb. So it is indeed the bomb. So everybody do stick around for that. Before we head into that, we're going to be having a little break. So do take this as an opportunity to get up, have a stretch, make sure that you stay hydrated. Our runner was staying hydrated in the last run, which is very important. <laughs> you know, speed running everybody isn't, hydrate. Isn't, speed running isn't more important than staying healthy. Your health. So we are going to be having a quick break and then we will be back with Suzuki Bakahatsu with Kino across the world. So do stick around and we will see you soon. Awesome. Today we have been sort of dipping into almost every aspect of, well, every aspect of this show and into the specifics. We had a game that was exclusively released in the West in Rocket Robot on Wheels from Brody. That was good fun. We also had a portable game for the PlayStation Portable. Was Crush ran by Stoic Rose again? A very good run, and now we are going all the way across to the other side of the world. Kino is going to be running Suzuki Bakuhatsu, and I believe it's quite early in the morning for you. Hello. But yes, how how are you? Are you are you good? Yes. So, <laughs> hello everybody. Uh, I'm Kino. So I'm <laughs> sleep a little. Uh, it it's 5 a.m. in Japan. <laughs> oh, that's early. Thank yes, you. Thank, thank you. you for being here. Thank you too. <laughs> awesome. And then I think we also have Yorkie joining us. Hello, Yorkie. Hello, everyone. Awesome. Right. Well, we are ready when you are, Kino. You can give us give us the running. You can give us the three, two, one. Okay, you sure. Mm. Okay, it's ready. You sure. <laughs> okay. Do you wanna do you wanna count us yes. in? Yes. Mm. Cool. We're ready. <laughs> Yoki, do you want to give us? I will give you count. Ah, yeah, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so keto in three, two, oh, okay. one, go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Good luck. Alrighty, everybody. If you have not seen this game before, um, welcome. <laughs> this is Suzuki Bakuhatsu, and this is all about diffusing bombs. Um, and it's a little more abstract than that. As you can see, we've already gone into an orange that has a bomb in it, and uh, it doesn't get any more normal from here, really. Yeah, so Ish. Suzuki is unlucky uh, to, to, to have <laughs> bombs everywhere for today, at least. Uh, the orange is... The, so, so basically, the first few bombs we see are going to be nice little trainers to what's, what's going to be coming up. Uh, you get ranked at the end because of course you do uh, and yeah there are nice little yes. cutscenes as well in between which unfortunately yeah. we're not going to see any of but we're going to be going through these uh, practice bombs very 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 quickly yes. Kino is an expert at this uh, and recently improved on the world record in this category <laughs> just this past week yes nice mm. yes <laughs> so all of these screws as well that you're seeing uh You'll hear the, the alarm. All of these screws he's got to unscrew before the time goes down here. Alongside the normal timer. Yeah! Nice. Yes. They are... Nice. The mashing in this game is... Uh, 
very painful sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a game I, I, I like for very many reasons. Not playing the hard mode, uh, I play normal because I'm not fast enough to play the hard mode and there's far too many timed screw sections. Uh, but yeah, thankfully all the bombs so far have had a nice little warning label on the one that we shouldn't cut. Uh, which helps us a lot! <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so the diff yeah. go, no, go on, go on. Yeah. So the difference between the game modes, as we sort of glossed over it a little yeah. bit there, but the um, we had the my my head is going yes. elsewhere. So the difference between the easy, normal, and hard is yeah. how much time. Yeah, how much time we yes. get with each bomb, and then how quick the like little Fuck. sections where you know an, an alarm suddenly comes on. Yeah. So um, there are a lot more yes. alarm sections in hard mode than there are in the other modes. Uh, mm. There are also it's just painful. Uh, the alarm mode is painful. Uh, the the ranking uh, as well is based on the amount of moves or mis they're not really mistakes, uh, but the moves that you do that don't proceed with the bomb, if that makes sense. So if you do a left move when you shouldn't have done a left move, it lowers your ranking slightly. Uh, so hopefully we'll be seeing perfect essays through here from Kino. <laughs> you know, knowing all the bombs perfectly inside and out. And, oh yeah, we're diffusing the moon at the moment. This is the moon. Uh, this this is one of the RNG bombs, uh, I believe, uh, that we have to, to look up a specific uh, like area for, at least in normal, uh, to understand which wire to cut. Uh, it is uh, interesting when those bombs appear. But Kino is just going straight through it here. Yes. Again, all of these timed screw sections are very, very tight. Uh, and the mashing is very precise as well. I'm glad I, I have this on mute, to be honest, because I don't like the alarm noise. It, it is so, it puts so much pressure on you. <laughs> oh, but the thing is, with this stage, we have we have our our, our main character humming along. Oh yes, no, that's as, worse. As this stage is going on. It is so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can hear you can that's hear the stress. Easy. But uh, Kino is is absolutely demolishing them. Yeah, he's making it look yeah. easy, but. Trying to sort of navigate, especially with you know the time against you around these boards, is a lot harder than it looks. And he has all of the tools that he has on the top right. He has to always maneuver over to the screw and make sure that he hasn't landed on um, a magnifying glass. And then I think there's another one at this point. So there's the scissors. Yeah. So there's a trap screw here as well. That top middle, if he screws the wrong way, will blow up the bomb because it triggers the bottom part of the bomb to hit that little sensor. So, there are a lot of those yes. in the game. Yes. Ooh, nice, yes. nice. <laughs> that is a hard one as well. That can the game can be very mean about that. About that. Yes. One. Good job, Keen. Yes. <laughs> okay. Also, this particular point of the game, the choosing of the the direction to go to save or go ahead is random. <laughs> mm. It, it throws you off. Um, it is... I, I don't understand how Kino can see it so far away. Yes. <laughs> Whenever I play it, I have to wait for it to come all the way up. Yeah. But yeah, no, oh, we're, in the, uh, we're in the iced tea drink here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like iced tea, but it, it is. Uh, I love this level. Uh, and in this one, it's a specific path that you've got to go. It's a very easy path, but if you get lost, you can go to a trick bomb in the level so it doesn't matter which one you cut here but if you get to the trick bomb it doesn't matter which one you cut there either because you'll die you'll <laughs> blow up blow up the drink but uh mm. wow kino just mm. blitzing through this is making making me want to get an even better time in my game now <laughs> but yeah uh, you have two option of two bombs per level yeah. Uh, and the bomb path is kind of rooted pretty well uh, with the <laughs> shortest bombs. 
this puzzle box is ooh yeah is a bit awkward very specific you unlock it in all the various different ways and relock it and then you get to this man's lip uh, I don't know yet he's looking at which wire to cut here got to be safe but this this is the uh, on normal this is one of the locations I hate the most because you, you're on the timer here and I always get down to less than a second it always scares me I am super slow at mashing. Ooh. <laughs> Two seconds to spare, nice. And this one we have all the scissors on the little uh, rows. And we've just got to pattern, well, go down through a pattern to unscrew the, uh, the various screws here. But along, uh, along throughout, basically the, the, the little warnings you get are, are kind of, I believe, are helpful hints, or at least... Most of them. <laughs> yeah. Some of them are a bit, bit trolly. Some of the little placards that you see are meant to help you throughout the uh, level to understand which, bo uh, which way you've got to cut, like we saw uh, a short while ago. Uh, some of them are, are useless. They, they don't help at all. Yes. Interesting. Somebody, somebody wondering how many controllers uh, somebody who might speedrun this game might go through. But I've, I've, I haven't speedrun this game yet. I've, I've learned a little bit of it, and the, the PlayStation controller is fairly solid when it comes to the face buttons. Because this is mainly sort of, yeah, yeah. You can see Kino Karen. playing it. Yeah. So, <laughs> I think Kino's, Kino's had that controller, so it works. <laughs> so, no, so no, this no, is no, no, no. so oh. this is a giant game of rock oh. paper scissors. Uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> you kind of just have to hope that <laughs> you you always get the other guy to do scissors. Oh, it's it's but for whatever it's reason, it's he it's is it's not doing it. <laughs> Come on, RNG, RNG. Oh, hey, yes, yes. The alter I, this is like Ooh. one hey. one bomb yes Ooh. I know the alternative for as well and it is an easy bomb yes. that you skip yes, yes. but this one's quick <laughs> nice yes <laughs> oh here we go oh. Where is it? <laughs> so yeah you always want to go down main street <laughs> And surprisingly, we're, we're well on our way. Mm, doing very well. Oh, ah, uh, yes. The ocean bomb. You can see there's a big time limit on this one, but it is quite a big stage. We've got to get through all of these alleys and to blow up all of these sort of big boulders in the way. Kino is going to have to inspect each of them with a magnifying glass and then use like this torpedo missile type things. Mm -hmm. So you can see he's inspecting, and then he's using that tool in the top right to make sure he is blasting a path. And if you slow here, I believe the boulder drops on top of you, above you there. He's doing this very well, though. Thankfully, the path on this level is the same on every difficulty. Doesn't make it any easier to get through because mm. sometimes you, well, in my case, terrible me, I bounce off the invisible submarines a couple of times before blowing them up. But yeah, now we need to, to, to dismantle this submarine. All submarines are built with four big screws at the front. Yeah, mashing in this game is intense. It is a masterclass here. Just hearing Kino mashing these. <laughs> yes. Yeah. for the last one. It's gonna be tight. Yes. I think you can do it. Do it. Yes. Yes. Nice.
So interestingly enough, this this game was released in like 1999 and was published by Enix of all companies. <laughs> oh so we're just oh getting God. more info about the bomb there. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. as you can imagine, this game didn't sell that many copies. Uh, <laughs> not not least because it was released quite towards the end of the PS1's lifetime, and well, yeah, it's not exactly an established franchise of games, even though it was published by Enix. Oop. This is a it's it's a it's a very helpful game though to uh, you know if you ever find yourself in a position where you do need to dismantle a submarine, you just. A couple, a couple of screws on the top and a couple of screws on the bottom and there you are. But uh, yeah, Mr. Rez in, in chat there asking if Turbo is allowed in this particular game. It is not allowed on this particular game for a, uh, for the speedrun leaderboard. So obviously you can go ahead and, and use a Turbo Pad if you wanted to try and play the game. Uh, just be aware <laughs> that the button that you tap to unscrew is the button you use to select so you would have to... It would be potentially a bit awkward to swap between the tools with Turbo. Speaking of tools, somebody mentioned um, whether there would be a task for this game, and there actually oh. is. Spike Stuff <sighs> has done a full task of this and all bombs, which is a slightly longer category going through all of the bombs in the game, and definitely <laughs> worth checking, because <laughs> I think... Yeah, there are, there are sort of things that you can take away from that um, to apply to a full game run, which I think Kino has done, and like, regardless of the task, has just done it really, really well. Um, and his times are very, very optimized. Yeah, so for a lot of PS1 games, uh, they're run on PS2 using fast disk speed to shorten the load times of the uh, the game. This particular level is interesting in the sense that you can't let... I can't remember which way it is. One, one of the ways of letting this red bit go around, you've got to continue going around. You can't go back. You'll see in a second why uh, once we get past this screw. But basically, you have this behind it, and you trigger this accidentally, as I keep doing. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're getting close to the nitty-gritty of this, this bomb now. You know, nice and simple. Just have to make sure those scissors don't get to the wire. And here we go. What's it going to be? <laughs> nice. Yes. Kino is doing oh, very well oh. as we're approaching yes. either the last couple or... Okay. Are we near the last bomb? Not quite yet. I think we are now. Okay. Here we are. two more. This is the last bomb. Okay. Well, the second to last bomb, I believe. Oh, yes. Or is it? <laughs> oh, no, 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 in fact, I lied. This is the last bomb, sorry. That's so we have yes, to wait here. Bomb. Yeah, last bomb. Last <laughs> bomb. Yeah. This is Ito, I believe, uh, and we're defusing her. So with this, uh, you can only screw these out so far, because if you screw one too far, it will trigger the bomb. But thankfully, like I say, in, in the easier levels, there are less alarmed sections if you do want to play it. And now she's going to be saying, uh, saying. Oh, okay, that is time. Okay, uh, display dark uh, and timer. Yes, timer stop. Time. <laughs> GG. Okay. Oh. Oh, Nicely I, done. It's I'm top player best probably thousand thousand. <laughs> Well played. That was that Julio. was a good, good time. That looked like oh, oh, sixteen 
16 minutes 15 to 16 is 50. Oh, it's new record. <laughs> it <laughs> is. Yes, yes. Probably and world record. Whoa, GG. <laughs> Yatta. <laughs> nice. Well yes. Okay. Yes. GG. Well done. Yes. Thanks. Yep. So. Awesome. Oh, that, was... <laughs> that was so cool. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kino. That was that was a really good run. Really good. Yes. Run. Well done. Yeah, thanks everybody. Uh, I'm glad to show this game speed run. And uh, yes, I got it. I world record. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yes. Well, <laughs> if I, I assume Yorki could help us out with this as well. Um, if people were interested in this game, um, I, I know, but for those who don't know, um, are there any res resources out there to learn the game? <laughs> Yes, DM, DM Kino. Kino will help you with everything. No. <laughs> uh, there, there, there is a very badly written guide that I've kind of made. Uh, there is also GameFAQs uh, website, which has a full step-by-step -step for every single bomb. Okay. Uh, just be aware that some of the bombs are RNG, so they might not be correct on harder difficulties, as I found out. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Yeah, it's very easy to get into, very straightforward most of the time, uh, on easy especially. <laughs> we can hear that Kino's still very happy about the world record. Yes. yes. Thank you, Kino. Kino, are you, yes. do you stream on Twitch? Can people watch you stream? Uh, I'm so I stream in Twitch, uh, Twitch, uh, eh, ne, Yes, still, still, just a bit. this, eh, Twitch chan, this, my Twitch channel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, there yes. we go. So we have dropped, yes. uh, Kino's, Kino's got a Twitch channel, Kino underscore W, if you're interested in watching him run. Do you run? Yes. You're running this game still? More Suzuki yes. Bakuhatsu? Mm. Yes, Great. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for running that. Thank you, Yorki, as well for joining us on commentary. And um, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. We've um, that's going places. We have had a great. Well, I've really enjoyed this episode, and this is going to be us for the rest of the year. So I'd just like to thank yes. everybody who's joined us um, through yes. any of the episodes this year. Um, it has been a whole load of fun. I know that Yorkie was actually in an earlier episode this year. Do, you know, we've got a bit of time. You can you can do a little bit a bit of talking about that, Yorkie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I play weird Japanese games, which is how I found out about Suzuki Bakahatsu. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I speed run the unspeed runnable game Gabal Screen, uh, which Hypnotics got me into and got me on an earlier event of this to speed run for the show. Uh, there yeah. are a lot of. The, the, the good thing about going places is that there are a lot of region exclusive games that you only see here. They they don't get a lot of love everywhere else unless you watch RTA in Japan, which you should. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, Hypnotics here runs a brilliant show for weird and wonderful games that you never see anywhere else. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think Yorki and I are each other's sort of worst worst encouragers. We're, we're um, bad influences to each other. <laughs> I yeah. have. Three more, three more games coming. Two of them are because of hypnotics. <laughs> uh, I, I won't ruin what they are because they might be here on another show at some point, hopefully in the future, maybe if it's good. Uh, perhaps. perhaps. And in fact, Yorkie, whilst we're here, um, I, like you've done a bit of selling, selling of yourself there. People are interested in uh, in finding you. Where could they find you? 
D don't come and find me. <laughs> <laughs> follow Kino, follow Hypnotics, follow all the yes. previous runners and commentators. Yes. They yes. deserve all the love. Yes, follow. <laughs> Awesome. Well, everybody, that has been going places for the year. Again, thank you so much for joining. We have still got some more action coming tonight, though. We are going to be having Think Fast, which is having a look at... I need to... Let's have a look at which... Um, let's confirm. Let's get some fact checkers on this. Think Fast is going to be showing us Sly Cooper and the Thievius... I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Thievius Raccoonus with... Zeven Stevens and Yuranoshi. So 100% coinless. That should be good fun. Um, do stick around. But for now, that has been going places. If you've missed any of this episode, you can find it on our YouTube. And I mean, these are just. This is just one of the brilliant cutscenes of Suzuki Bakihatsu. So as we. Oh yeah. So you because Kino did so well, you don't see all the explosions at the end of the game. <laughs> You see all the ex explosions before you get to this particular scene, if I remember oh. correctly. But basically, you blow up the world several times, you destroy the water of the world several times, uh, <laughs> destroy cities, and there's a toy oh. robot bomb, and uh, yeah, there's, there's tons of stuff. Oh, let's, let's explode that uh, bomb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, what's it? Well, Everybody, we are so oh no, there's the bomb. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry, world. <laughs> so that is. was the orange bomb, I believe. Orange like bomb. orange bomb blows up all of the world pretty much. Yeah. Foxy. But there are obviously we've we've gone a certain route so we, we don't have certain bombs, but yeah. Oh here are all the explosions. <laughs> you get you get all the explosions. Sure. This is great. All right, we will we will let yes. these we'll let these run off because I think okay. we've got a little bit of time before Think Fast. So everybody, we can we can experience this together. Let's see let's see what the next bomb is. It's the moon. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe it. The moon is poor gone. moon. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, what's next? Ooh. Oh, so that's Yay. Oh, there's another. Oh. <laughs> the city explodes. Yes, next. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think I've ever Ice actually coffee. watched that one. That's the iced yeah. tea drink, I think. Uh, yes, yes. Mm. <laughs> so every bomb she hears as well oh. she, she only hears by like ticking noises so can you imagine getting a drink and just hearing like ticking coming from it yes Ooh. robots oh, oh, oh no. yes oh <gasps> no <laughs> yeah <gasps> oh, there's the water <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best one. I love the sea. Oh, this game. Oh, yeah, the cruise liner. But not the cruise liner, sorry. The, 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 it's not really a cruise liner. <laughs> the, the tanker ship thing. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe to you, Yorkie. Okay. Maybe that's where you, where you have your holidays. On a... <laughs> that's oh, peak com on a freight comfortable <laughs> on a freight ship. Yeah. <laughs> yes, last. Uh, <laughs> Ito san. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it can't explode. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. <I'll> <laughs> there we go, everybody. That was all the bombs. I'm, I'm glad that we got to watch that together. I'm glad that we got to watch that. But <laughs> yes. as we've said, I feel like I've repeated myself, but it's definitely been worth taking in as much of this game in as we can. That has been Suzuki Bakihatsu. That has been going places for this year. We are going to be signing off and we are going to be heading over to Think Fast. So once again, thank you so much to all of these runners, all of the runners throughout the year. And yes, we will be back in the new year after AGDQ. We will see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye. See. Thank you. See.